laid back moods, sky above, sand below, good vibrations, feeling mellow. And I'll be Dylan. Uh, um, I, I, I mean, I'll be the cameraman. Jake, you should be Dylan. Oh, get real. I'm not gonna play act in some idiotic adolescent soap opera. But all the girls love Dylan. I'm ready for my close-up. Cut, cut, cut! You will not defile my class with mind-numbing drivel. Television can educate and enlighten. That is why it has been dubbed the window to culture. Hey, are we going to study Gilligan's Island? Hey, don't forget Green Acres. <laughs> Green Acres is the place to be for And why it's also known as the idiot box and the boob tube. <laughs> now, you will all break into groups and then create and tape your own programs. Can they be educational shows? Yes. Uh, can they be shows about dealing with crime? Yes. Can I get an A and never come back? Yes. <laughs> no. Good try, man. That's worth a shot. Hey! Okay. How about a game show where the prize is a date with the head cheerleader? Ooh, lofty. <laughs> <laughs> if we offer the head cheerleader as a prize, how do we convince her boyfriend not to beat the pom poms out of us? Man, what are we gonna do? We gotta come up with a show? Relax. I mean, if it's just tough for a couple of geniuses like us, the gang must be pulling out their hair trying to come up with a show idea. Hey, guys. Mark and I came up with a great show idea. Yeah, and we've got one that'll revolutionize television. So how are you guys doing? Huh? Oh, oh us? <laughs> uh, we got so many great ideas, we had to come up with the WWN, the, the Wix Winkle Network. <laughs> you mean the uh, Winkle and Wix Network? Uh... Well, either way, it'll be all us. All the time. Can't come up with anything, huh? No, not, not a thing. thing. I mean, despite our great discipline, our keen concentration, and our... Go, go, move. Go on, get it out of your system. Thanks, honey. Go, go, move. Sam, doesn't it bother you that your boyfriend checks out other girls? Hey, you could heat up the water anywhere you want, so long as it boils at home. Right, sweetie? Oh, yeah. Bubble, bubble, bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, it's like a law of nature. Sly and Tony can't help themselves. They're like the Gugamoo guys. <laughs> the Gugamoo guys! Bodacious day at the ocean side, bodacious day for surfing. Don't you wipe out, don't you wipe out. It's a gnarly day for hanging ten. Say cowabunga, then do it again. Don't stay inside, go rip some tide. Won't you please go surfing? <laughs> Hi, all you special dudes and dudettes. Today, I want to talk about surfing during a thunderstorm. Can you say hospital? <laughs> oh, gosh, who could that be? Let's go find out. Awesome delivery. Hi, Mr. McNarley. Do you have that special package for me? Oh, for sure, babe. Well, where is it? Whoa. I don't know. K-1 
Can you say burnout? <laughs> bad dudes, bad dudes, breaking all the rules, breaking all the rules you put to some of school. Bad dudes, bad dudes, breaking all the rules, breaking all the rules you put to some of school. Hall monitors is taped on location with real hall monitors. This could be a very dangerous bust. The guy's in flagrant violation of student handbook rule 147. No gum chewing in school. <laughs> we found a lot of gum wrappers in the vicinity of this bench, so we know it's his favorite chomping spot. Now we wait. <laughs> Good buddy Tony. And this is my homie Sly. We're the Goop 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 guys. guys. Yup. We're too hot. Ow. Ow. Babe Magnets with a lot to say. And some of us even weren't listening to <laughs> that. <laughs> hey, let's kick it off by introducing our very special guest, Ale McPherson. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. You're the hottest guys I've ever seen. Well, you're not so bad yourself, Ale. Ale my pail. <laughs> And to prove how hot she is, let's bring out the goo gumometer. Ooh. Go ahead, Al. Give it a touch. Hot. Hotter. I'm melting! Oh, yeah. She's so hot, she has her own fire department. Oh, uh, she's the most steamiest peppercorn popping inferno that ever brought Smokey the Bear to his feet. Swiss! <laughs> well, that's all the time we have. Yeah, so until we meet again, if you want to hurt, babe, but don't know what to do, don't sweat, don't press, say, go, go, move, hey! <laughs> all right. The goo ga moo guy. What, may I ask, were you thinking? Well, mostly, we tried not to. <laughs> <laughs> and it showed, you get an F. What? Can't fail us. Yeah. Cannon did, it's done. Now, I'd like you to meet Mr. Carvey. He owns a local TV station and has agreed to share his wisdom with us, Mr. Carvey. Well, I think what you've done is great. <laughs> well, I do try. <laughs> not you. <laughs> The Guga Moo guys, you two have a great chemistry. How'd you like to do the show for my station? <laughs> you, you mean like for real TV? Mm-hmm. Swish! And we're on in three, two. And now, live from Pacific Coast, CA, it's the Guga Moo Guys! Goo is for a hot babe's blonde hoodoo. <laughs> Guys, add it if her eyes are blue. Moo is for the cute babes in the malls, the streets they knock it. Goo, the moo means we love you. Good buddy Tony. And this is my homie Sly and we're the Goo Goo Moo guys. guys. Yep, we're a brand new show and you probably have no idea who we are. Yeah, but there's a lot of reasons why you should check us out. And here are the top three. <laughs> the third most popular reason for watching the Goo Goo Moo guys is we have less hairballs than Stimpy. <laughs> reason number two is we won't sell your t shirts. Because we got mugs. <laughs> And reason number one to watch the Goo Goo Moo guys is... Can I have a drum roll? Thank you. We'll beam you here and make you watch us do the Cossack dance. Hey, I was watching Blossom! Enjoy my little I think we learned a valuable lesson, don't you, Sylvester? Yep. Never, 
ever touch the Googamometer with the swimsuit issue. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to say that that's all the time we have, but I hope you catch our next show, because it's going to be even more brilliant. Oh, yeah, it's going to be so brilliant, it's going to make Albert Einstein look like Forge go. <laughs> mm, it's gonna be the most super stupendous mammoth that ever beamed over the airwaves. Swish! <laughs> and we're clear. <laughs> That's our oh, thank you. Thank you. So what'd you think, Mr. Carter? I think you guys are gonna be a hit. So drop anything non-show related. We'll talk schedule tomorrow. Now go out and have fun. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> May I be the first person to join the Google Moo Guys fan club? Oh, get out of here. Wait, no. You know, I, I, I hate to drop a reality bomb here, but, uh, what about the dreams? Oh, well, man, well, uh, I guess we'll just have to take a leave of absence from the band. Yeah. Oh, Tony, it's gonna be so hard to replace you. Yeah, it sure is. Oh. Well, not to mention the impossible task of finding a manager as great as me. I'll do it. <laughs> As much as I miss him, I'm glad Tony and Sly show's a hit. Me too, but I mean, it's just a cheap Wayne's World ripoff. How big of a hit could it be? Think maybe they'd hire me? Yeah. So, Lorena, you get any gigs for us yet? Well, there's nothing out there. Except for this really high class affair, but it's not right for dreams. What? I'm saying we're not classy? <laughs> Okay, so we just keep Jake from eating. <laughs> and keep Tiffany from drinking soda. Ow, Sam! I rest my case. Oh, oh come on. Oh, right. Hey, we're we're classy. Class. Okay, okay, I'll try to get the gig. But I'll need to give you some... <laughs> etiquette lessons. What? <laughs> okay, I booked you at the Historical Society dinner at Sharky's. Oh, All right. right. <laughs> Look, these people are sophisticated. You have to be well-mannered and refined. For instance, if someone tells a bad joke, how do you react? Yuck! <laughs> no. You don't want to embarrass anyone. Just laugh haughtily. <laughs> Change all your music in your set. Oh, hold oh, on here. Music, music. Oh, just some small changes, you know. Slow the beat, lower the volume, and uh, lose the lyrics. But we'll be playing elevator music. By Jube, I think you've got it. <laughs> hey, have you guys seen Sly? I want to work on this new bit I got for the show called the Google Moo Gladiators. Yep, so I'm adding a new bit to the show, Google Moo Girl of the Week. You guys play your cards right. It could be you. <laughs> swish! Don't you swish me. What's this new bitch stuff, man? You can't add something without my approval. <laughs> Since when do I need your approval? Since you're too busy playing Babe Hound to work on the show. Oh, you're just jealous because I like me more than you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get real, man. See, the only reason they even acknowledge your pathetic butt is because I'm hooked up with Sam. You're just gonna have to accept the fact that I'm a bigger hit than you. <laughs> if I weren't on the show, you'd be on the street with a little sign that says, we'll Google move for food. You're nothing without me. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. nothing without me. The show is the hit, and your friendship is a show. Without that, you're a flop. Yeah, I guess I was acting a little crazy. Yeah, it's cool. We both are getting a kind of egotistical. Nah, I'm not egotistical. I just think I'm better than everyone else. <laughs> hey, Google Moo guys. Joe Reed, PCH Gazette, you're our lead story. How about answering a few questions? All right. Uh, sure. Oh. Okay. Okay. First question. Who created the show? I, I did. did. You did not! <laughs> I thought of it at Shark. Oh, please, you couldn't think your way out of a V-neck shirt, fool. I'm sick of you. Why don't you take your Google Moo Gladiator and get lost? You get lost. You get lost with your Google Moo Girl of the Week. That's it. Our friendship is terminated. You got it. All right. Second question. <laughs> the night to cool down, all right? So let's just be professionals and just do the show. 
Well, before we start, it's just something you gotta know. What's that? I hate your guts. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I hate you more than donating all my money to charity. Oh, yeah? Well, well I... Now, what? live from Pacific Coast, CA, it's the Guga Moo Guys! <laughs> <laughs> well, we got an awesome show for you today, so let's just kick it off with a very cool new segment. Oh, yeah, it's cooler than Frosty the Snowman's butt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's the most iced tea, chillin', antifreeze, freezing segment that ever gave a couch potato frostbite. Chili! <laughs> Chili? What is that? Something you stick on your hot dog? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? What's zing? Short for zingle, cause no girl will date you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 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 Why don't you stick to the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start it off with the Google Moo Girl of the Week, and to prove who the hottest girl is, I got the slimeometer. Oh! <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, the new segment is the Google Moo Gladiators. Oh, check it out. The Wix Wampa. Ooh. Hey, watch me swing that thing. Hey, you hit me in the head with that thing. I didn't mean you it. Know it you know you did. Go to commercial. Go to commercial. All right, listen up, boys. This show is only good if your friendship is good. So you either choke down those egos or you bomb. Catch my drift. And we're back in three, two. <laughs> Come on, guys. Don't act like this. So your show got canceled. You guys have a special friendship. Isn't it worth saving? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Tiffany's right. So you got in a fight. All friends get in fights sometimes. But you get over them. Yeah. <laughs> Look, neither one of you is any better than the other. You're both jerks. <laughs> but you keep each other in check. You make each other work to be better jerks. Ah, forget these jerks. If they want to bag their friendship, let them. Come on, let's go get ready for our gigs. Yeah. You guys look great. Yeah. Oh, here comes the president of the Historical Society. Don't forget, if she tells a lame joke, laugh haughtily. Oh, I'm so delighted oh. that you're here. Who knows? Maybe you'll have so much fun, you'll join our society. <laughs> that was a joke. Uh, Maybe we could yeah, join. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. Bad. Let's just get this fiasco on the road. Yo, what's the deal? You guys are still playing this gig? I mean, these people are so stuffy, they should take a bath and kneel some nephron. Hey, it's a gig. Yeah, I know, but I'm Hey, just... what's going on here? I stopped managing you guys for five minutes, and you get a gig for the Night of the Living Dead. Hey, it's a gig, and I think that's good. Oh, golly gee Whitakers, that makes me feel better. Hey, if you two want to stay, that's fine, but no fighting. You sit there, and you sit there. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And now, for your listening pleasure, my associates and I will furnish you with some <laughs> background orchestration. A one and a two and a... Good thing. Oh man, I think it's terrible. Yeah, it's so terrible it makes watching Barney look like going to a Smashing Pumpkins concert. <laughs> mm hmm. 
It's the most unbearably odious snatch of cell altitude these years I've ever been witness to. Swish. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I was a bonehead. I was totally out of control. Hey, yeah, you're right. Apology accepted. Huh? Yo, I'm sorry, too, man. We're friends, man. We should accept each other for who we are. We don't have to be fighting over who's better than who. Yeah, and we both should know we're better than everyone else. Did we? <laughs> <laughs> ah, since we're friends again, how about we save our show? Man, man forget the show. Let's save our ears. Squish! <laughs>